conflict between ethics and posting, and I don't know if I'm going to deliver the results I want, right? Well, that's on the surface, right? When we went down this journey, he's feeling heavy. There's a heaviness he's assigned to these things. These are all beautiful, unconscious. Remember, he even closed his eyes at one point. We didn't tell him to close his eyes. It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Your body just knows how to go into hypnosis. So why are we telling them people what to do? Sometimes people sit there with their eyes open the whole time. Deep, profound staring off. You know, they have hallucinations in sessions with me. Uh, Thursday, a lady carved a, her, the resentment towards her ex-husband out of the pit of her stomach. That was the hallucination. She had a beautiful knife and she carved the, and I was like, well, what the hell is going on here? You know, I don't know where it's going to go, but her mind knows how to solve that problem. It, like Sally said, and Debbie, and I think someone else mentioned this too. All, all we're really doing is creating that space. And the silence does this beautifully well, you know, fewest words, most space. Um, does that stimulate any thought about what we're doing here? If, if I can just say something else again, but I know I've, I've been spotlighting quite a bit, but yeah, I think it, it does to me. I, I, this is something I've been kind of looking at myself recently a, a little bit because suddenly the notion of sort of turning up with some pre planned protocols or scripts and you know, I know what's best for you type approach with the best intentions, of course seems so prescriptive and channeled and that maybe you know we've we're trying to tell the client what they need when yeah they're not necessarily the best place best place to, to know that what do we think about that statement